Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing a little peek inside my styling kit for a wedding day. So much love gets poured into each and every decision for the wedding, from the dress to the shoes to the invitation suite. So this is one of my favorite parts of the day to capture. And I like to make sure that it's cohesive with the whole wedding design and looks really beautiful and is really showcased. And the styling kit is something that really helps with that. So if you're looking to build your own kit, um, this is what I use. First, I like to focus on the backdrop. And for backdrops, I have two different ones that I use. One is more of a linen styling board. And I have these from Heirloom Bindery. And the main colors I use are the blush, the blue, and a white. And then I also have a couple roll-up styling boards. And these are really great for on the go for weddings. And I love this because it has a bit of a texture to it. So it has a little bit of a textured look to it and they have this also in a couple other colors but I really love uh, the white and both the gray versions. And then I also love to use, um, I collect little trays that I'll sometimes put on top of the styling board as kind of a layering element and then layer with other pieces within my kit. So let's go ahead and dive into this. These are some other styling accessories. This is a box that I found on Amazon. I'll link up all the things in my Amazon page so that if you want to like have just quick links, go to amazon.com forward slash shop uh, forward slash Chelsea Nicole and you'll have all the quick links including this. Uh, which I found is really good to hold everything really nicely with my kit. And I also love that it has a little handle making it very easy on the go. So inside my kit, I have ribbons and like hand dyed fabrics. I love this for layering on top of the pieces like, like little trays and stuff or even just on the, the boards themselves really great as kind of a layering element and then also a variety of different ribbon colors. I have some ribbons that I've gotten on Amazon. These, uh, This is from Fru Fru Chic um, as well as some like crinkle ribbons and also like ribbons on spools if I want to like kind of feature it laid out with the spool. I also have just little elements that I used to style with. So I collect little things like scissors. This is also comes in handy for cutting florals. So uh, it's multi-purposed. And with floral, I'll usually ask the bride, the planner, or the florist in advance of the wedding day, I'll request a few extra buds and leaves to work with that match the bride's bouquet or match kind of the styling of the wedding. So everything has a really cohesive look. But just in case I don't have floral, I also have these, which are real touch flowers. And they look really realistic in flat lays and just kind of wedding designs. So I have those as a backup, just in case I can't get my hands on real floral. I also have these little ring dishes. Um, in a variety of colors. Uh, I have these from, are from Marabella. And then I'll, I'll also link this one up from where that's from. Just kind of a little ceramic dish. I also love for invitation designs to use risers. So these are clear risers that will rise the invitation so that you can kind of layer things. And I'll sometimes stack two on top of each other to have like different levels. I paid about 50 for mine, but I found ones on Amazon that I think were like $10. Uh, so I'll link those up for you guys. <laughs> you can save some money. I paid for mine a while back before the ones on Amazon popped up. But I also use just washi tape. And this is another way of raising up things at different levels so that you can have that uh, kind of layered look. But again, the clear is great for it creates no shadows, and then you have also bigger and smaller pieces for your bigger elements, so they're, they're not bending. I also have a variety of ring boxes. I have mine from the Miss Box. Now, if you don't have a budget for Miss Box, because they do run about 80 a piece, 
You can also look on places like Poshmark, eBay for used miss boxes, or Amazon has a few different options as well, or Etsy. So there's a few different places that you can look if you're just getting started with your kit and you don't have the budget for the miss box yet. I have them in a light gray, a blue, and a blush pink, which tends to work perfect for most of my weddings, those colors. And then I also have a few Amoni boxes. Uh, this is the one in blue, and I just love the their circle velvet ring boxes. A couple other little helpful things. I have the Miss Box Gem Pen, and this is great for cleaning the ring to just make sure it's super shiny and sparkles. Get that sparkle going. And then this is like my secret weapon. Great for style shoots. It's just like styling like putty. Well, it's actually meant for picture frames and different things, but it keeps things in place. So if you have little elements that might roll, this is a miracle worker. Uh, it also can look like this or like poster putty. So there's a few different looks, but it all pretty much achieves the same thing. Uh, so this stuff is great for just kind of tacking things down that might move. And also if there's like wind, uh, on styling shoots, I've used this as well, and it works really, really great to keep things in place. And then kind of the last little fun element I love is vintage stamps. And these are from the Postage House. And I love that they do these. Um, the Postage House has like these curated sets of stamps. This one is kind of a variety of different floral, really pretty together. And then one of my favorites actually is, where is it? The Aubrey Hepburn set, because it's just nice and neutral, but they're really beautiful, just little curated sets of vintage stamps. Great for wedding invitations, but I also love to throw them in some of my flat lay designs, just to give it that extra little something something. And so that's it inside this little kit. I also have a few different things that I love to bring for styling the wedding dress. So sometimes the bride has her own hanger, but just in case, I come equipped with a nice hanger to put the dress on that's not that white plastic hanger that usually comes. And then I also keep a command hook, and this can tape right onto a clean part of the wall and come off very easily. So this is just in case you don't have an area that's clean to hang the dress on. I'm extra prepared. And then the last little thing is these little clamps. And what I do with these is clamp the back of the dress to give the bride a nice shape when the dress is hanging. Because when it hangs, it, everything kind of flattens out. And this just brings it in as if it was on a body to give that dress a nice waist, which looks really beautiful in pictures. Uh, and then the kind of the last thing in my kit is I have just an artist portfolio bag. And this holds everything from my kit to my boards with a very like easy on the go to transport with me on wedding day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little peek inside my styling kit. Don't think that you need to have everything that I have included here. This is something that I've built up over years. And it's just stuff that I found has worked for me. And on that note, if you guys have anything that you include in your kit that I don't have in mine, drop it in the comments. I would really love to hear. I'm always building up my kit and would love to hear anything that you guys are really loving as well. Also, if you want to see more about my process for shooting and styling flat lays, three part series all on styling flat lays. Hope this was helpful as you build up your own kit and I will see you guys in the comments.